Okay, so Kurt, I want to start today's episode off with a larger question about QAnon and their role within the Republican Party. Now, from the insane questioning of Judge Katanji Brown Jackson by the likes of that moron and a half Josh Hawley, it appears that they're, that, I mean, they were dog whistling QAnon with their questions about the sentencing of pedophiles. Now, this was picked up by the likes of Marjorie Taylor Greene, who is now referring to those GOP senators who voted to confirm Jackson as pro-pedophilia. Now, if mm-hmm. you would, all right, I mean, if you would, you can't make this shit up, not on Maya Culpa, not in the United States of America. If you do me the honor, sir, discuss with me how deep they have rooted themselves into the GOP. Is there... Is there someone within the GOP whose job is to connect with these folks? I mean, is there such a thing as QAnon operatives in the political sense? Because after all, they represent a potentially large swath of the electorate and vote, you know, and and their votes have equal power. If you would discuss this complex question with me. Well, you have to start off by understanding QAnon because they're they're not completely what people understand. I mean, they are actually 10% of the American population. That is 30 million people. Now, within that 30 million, it's... it's, It is all I can say. Yeah. Within that 30 million, there are what... And I'm going to be digging... You know, I know a great deal about QAnon, so I'm going to be giving... By the way, Kurt, why do you think think that you're on the show today? (laughs) Well, within QAnon, there are there are two basic groups: the QAnon and the Q adjacent. And you know, the the deep QAnon. These are the ones who believe that um, uh, Democrats and this secret deep state are involved in a massive effort uh, of of uh, uh, child trafficking where they are stealing children and taking them to secret underground tunnels where they are sexually abusing them because they're all pedophiles and then murdering them, uh, drinking their blood and trying to get something called adenochrome, which is a chemical uh, that supposedly, you know, they say will keep them young forever. Um, within that same group is the belief that the military, under the authority of Donald Trump and the continuing authority of Donald Trump, are arresting Democrats, um, taking them to Guantanamo Bay and executing them by hanging. Um, and so, and then replacing them by. <laughs> Sorry, I have to stop. <laughs> replacing them by <laughs> replacing them by clones, by people with masks. Joe Biden, according to them, is dead, and is the person there is someone in a mask. Uh, uh, Tom Hanks is dead. Uh, uh, Nancy Pelosi. Oh, whoa, is, whoa, whoa, hold! Not, not, not Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks. Right. Yeah. Uh, Tom Hanks too. Yeah, Tom Hanks too. And um, they so have demonized Democrats, journalists, uh, doctors, nurses, scientists. And, and it's, you know, it sounds ha ha ha, it's funny, but we're talking about, you know, this concept of uh, they believe all of this group is, uh, are, are devil worshipers. And what's strange is none of this is new. In fact, it goes back to, you know, it, it, you, I'm sorry, I have to say you have uh, particularly right wing evangelical churches are getting overwhelmed by this to the extent that uh, there are ministers who are leaving their churches because there is this conflict between people worshiping Jesus, but incorporating Trump into that whole concept and who are believing in this in this bizarre battle between between good and evil with Trump being good 
and evil being the Democrats working with Satan. Uh, and again, this is not, you know, a few people. This is a lot of people. Yes, yeah, you um, said 30 million. It's well, more, that's, that's more this, than just that's a few. 30, the, the 30 million is, is QAnon and the Q adjacent. Um, and um, one of the things that um, uh, that ultimately is, it, it, you, that is interesting about this is that if you trace back this whole conspiracy, you can actually go back to the year 112. And um, the, um, there's the governor, a, a Roman governor of Turkey. They were executing Christians <laughs> for uh, going out into the woods, kidnapping children, murdering them, drinking their blood, worshiping, you know, not Satan, because they didn't have Satan, but worshiping evil forces. And um, Pliny, um, uh, you know, the, Pliny the Younger was his name. Pliny the Younger um, actually sent slaves out to join the Christians to find, you know, what they were doing and to prove all that. And Christians were being killed for this. And the, the uh, slaves came back and they said, none of this is happening. And they were whipped and beaten until finally Pliny the Younger believed they were telling the truth. And so, you know, what is so bizarre is that here are Christians repeating the exact same storyline that was used against them for persecution during the times of the Roman Empire. Um, of course, none of them know any of that. Um, so then you have the QAnon, the Q adjacent, and anything the Q adjacent believes, the QAnon hardcore believe. Oh, I left out the QAnon hardcore to get to the hardest core. Uh, they're down in my town, Dallas, right now, uh, waiting, still waiting since November, still waiting for JFK Jr. to reveal that He's still alive and will be running with Donald Trump to be his vice president in the next election. Yeah, sounds, uh, sounds, and there, sounds plausible. Yeah. And they're just waiting there at Dealey Plaza every Kurt, day. Do, Kurt, do you think do you think that Plenty the Younger and Donald the Trump are somehow related? Right. Because they both sound to me to be fucking crazy as all. No, I no, mean, no. I, Plenty the Younger was at least smart enough to go, let's check this out. Um, you know, Trump just says stuff and never checks any of it out. He doesn't care if it's true or not. Um, but the Q adjacent, um, that's where you'll hear more of the of the um, uh, hospitals are murdering again everything the q adjacent say the q anon hardcore say but they're they don't go to the democrats are murdering people um the hospitals are murdering people because covid is fake and they're killing them to get more money uh uh masks don't work and they're tr doing it to try and uh to try and cause people to die. The vaccines have the microchips and blah, 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 blah. And, and it's an attempt by Bill Gates uh, and you know, other people to create you know, tracking devices and establish a new world order, you know, as if, as if Bill Gates cares, cares that Bertha went to the Piggly Wiggly. Um, and, you know, we're all carrying tracking devices. So, um, and so the, all of that is mixed up together. The foundation of it is pedophilia. And um, when you, you, you started to, you started to hear um, um, Q, uh, Q adjacent stuff uh, during, you know, the worst of COVID. Masks don't work, you know, attacking the, 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 the uh, vaccines. Fauci is the devil. They're planning, you know, Q, and, uh, Q adjacent are, are, are planning for when there's the next 
Republican president for him to be prosecuted for murder. Kurt, um, let me ask you, it, Kurt, let me ask you this question, right? Uh-huh. Um, because obviously, you know, their whole concept of devil worshiping, uh, obviously they've never been to the Trump organization or work there, <laughs> but they would truly know, they would truly know about Dante's Inferno, right? About, you know, falling into the uh, pit of abyss. Uh, but I can, I, I, what I, what drives me crazy is I watched, because I really don't have much other to do other than these podcasts and the book that I'm <laughs> writing and, you know, going to the courthouse to see how my case is doing against the United States government and suing Trump for all and doing television appearance. I don't have much to do. But I watched the full Katanji Brown Jackson confirmation hearings and I'm embarrassed for my country. I truly am. Yeah, I that was thought, all a bunch of QAnon thought, stuff. Yeah, I mean, I thought that the Republicans really um, fell deep into the dumpster pit when I was testifying before the House Oversight Committee and the Republicans never once asked me a single question about Donald. All they wanted to do was to attack me, besmirch mm-hmm. my reputation, as Michael Corleone would say, right, and, and so on. But they did the same shit that same bare knuckle brawl, right, to in this confirmation hearing to Katanji Brown Jackson. First, you know, black woman confirmed to the Supreme Court, right, really a milestone occasion. And instead, they they shitted on it. They dirtied it up Mm -hmm. by doing what? Right. By, you know, attacking her, all of these far right critics attacking her and challenging her credentials and accusing her, that's the word I was looking for, and accusing her of supporting child abuse. Now, mm-hmm. this is not, this is not, you know, Joe guy on the street or Jane working at this supermarket, making these Karens that you see all the time on TikTok or YouTube and so on and social media. These are representatives of the United States of America attacking a Supreme Court nominee during her process and basically, not basically, and calling her a supporter of child abuse. Yep, and you should see the QAnon conversation sites. They're loaded with it. They are, they, you know, they are loaded with, I mean, Hawley knows what he's doing. He knows that his crazy people of which there are a lot of them and they're heavy duty voters are anti-mask anti-vaccine fauci's the devil everybody's a pedophile who isn't a republican and he was feeding into that and the thing is you know the most obscene thing about that is they knew her sentencing were in line with other district judges sentencing and the thing is any district judge who comes up, you know, the Democrats are not going to sit there and go, you're a pedophile, you're a pedophile. Any district judge who comes up nominated by a Democratic president is going to get the same thing, is going to get the same, you're a pedophile, because it's across the board. The, the sentencing commission, which she was a part of, but this is from long before she was there, established um, um, uh, sentences on the ownership of child porn that didn't differentiate well enough between distribution and ownership. And so, you know, a lot of judges were taking that into account in certain instances. The one they were ripping her up on was you know, this, this very problematic case. Uh, And, you know, it, it was, it was not some evil guy. It was a guy who did, you know, who had a lot of horrible things on his computer, but he was basically a kid and he was basically um, um, a lost kid who was, you know, even the prosecutor was saying, this is a complicated case. This is a hard okay, one. But Kurt. And yeah, that's Kurt. what they tried to turn into. Oh, she's a, she loves, she loves pedophiles. Yeah, she's a supporter of, she's a supporter of pedophiles and child abuse. What I find incredulous is the fact that 
the same people that were attacking Katanji Brown Jackson seem to give a pass to Matt Gates. Right. Of and here's what and here's what we know. First of all, what I don't understand is how come he has not already been um in indicted uh why there's no trial going on what is it know. over a year i mean i i specifically remember there was an uh an article by Bess levin uh over at vanity fair and she had this you know she had this whole article about you know matt gates and things not going well for him you know the florida congressman blah 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 and um you know that there was currently an investigation and again this goes right back to merrick garland you know mr I don't know what the hell you're doing, right? But there's an investigation by the Justice Department for Matt Gates, right? And this is paying women for sex, sleeping with a minor, and transporting her across state lines, as well as obstruction of justice. Not only do we have this guy's Venmo account, not only do we have this Joel Greenberg, the guy that set the whole thing up, but you have one of his... Family members, you have Gates's future sister-in-law, or maybe now sister-in-law, Roxanne Lucky, who told people that her sister's fiancé is a literal pedophile. All right? I mean, <laughs> I'm not so sure what these folks are talking about. What they do goes, is they it make actually up... actually goes beyond that, because if you start to, to run through in the last few years, those people, People who have been arrested in po in politics, those people who have been arrested for child pornography, for uh, for uh, molestation, they were in. There were a lot of them in the Trump administration. There were people who were uh, 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 the heads. I mean, not senior guys. No, but, it wasn't yeah. Donald. It wasn't Donald who said that if his if if Ivanka wasn't his daughter, then he would date her. Oh, you know, and she was yeah, a kid I mean, at the time. Was, I don't know. That. Sounds sounds awfully pedophilic to me. But let me just move on for a second, because in a recent New York Times piece, it was reported that according to the Public Religion Research Institute, which is a nonprofit as well as a nonpartisan group, that 16 percent of Americans or roughly 41 million people, believed last year in the three key tenets of QAnon conspiracy theory. Oh, it's now, gone up. I, it's gone, <laughs> yes, it's gone up. Now, now again, this is, this is according to Public Religion Research Institute. There now, those are, those are the sat, um, uh, satanist uh, pedophiles who run that global child sex trafficking operation, that they control the government and other major institutions, that a coming storm will sweep elites from power oh, and yeah. that violence might be necessary to save the country. Now, yeah, I can see you're already chomping at the bit. Unpack for me how something like this could take hold of so many Americans. Um. It, it, effectively, what you've had is um, high tech brainwashing, uh, because you know if you if you if you look up stuff about Donald Trump on YouTube, uh, and then you look it up on Facebook, and then you look it up on Twitter, the algorithms start feeding you, you know, Trump, 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 Trump. Well, these people would get you know. A friend who would tell them, oh, you know, look into this and look into that, a little bit of QAnon. And they start getting bombarded by it. And then they're told they get into friend groups that say, well, let's go over to BitChute and let's go over to, you know, TikTok. And there's this video. And on YouTube, there's this video. And they are addicted to it. And, you know, one of the things that's interesting, there's a Reddit um, uh, group called QAnon Casualties, which is family and friends of people who uh, are QAnon. And they talk about you know, how their family members have disappeared, that they are on the internet constantly and they, their personalities are nothing like they used to be. They're in a constant state of rage. And that's, you know, that's what's gonna cause the violence, you know, I believe if you look at the storming of uh, the Capitol on January 6th, 
and look at how many people had the big Q signs or Q on their on their uh, shirts. That's where it started. And the thing is, we can't ignore the fact that the Republican Party has been doing this for over a decade. You know, and I actually wrote a piece for Newsweek in 2015 about the Republican Party and conspiracy theories and how they're playing footsie with conspiracy theor- theories with their with their uh, voting bloc was going to blow up and going to cause some serious problems. I was talking about, uh, I mean, do you remember Jade Helm? You know, the uh, Obama was sending the military mm-hmm. in to take over Texas. Yeah. Um, you had uh, uh, Agenda 21. You had um, uh, Obama, of course, you know, Obama is from Kenya. You had all of these things. Wait, that wait, what's public- that? Obama's from Kenya. <laughs> who would who would say so? <laughs> Kirk, who would, who would say, say such, such a, a stupid? Who would say such a stupid thing? <laughs> but you had, right? but you had Republican <laughs> members members of Congress who wouldn't stay up and you wouldn't stand up and say that's friggin' ridiculous. And so they have gotten so used to. I mean, Ted Cruz indulged the Jade Helm uh, theory. You had um, uh, Abbott, the governor of Texas, indulged the Jade Helm theory. They knew it was garbage, but what the and Agenda Twenty One? They all indulged that. And <laughs> nothing had, sells. Nothing sells better than garbage. Not yeah, the Trump administration. And, <laughs> and so you had you had you had a party that was turning its own voters, ripping them away from reality, so that this concept of vast global conspiracies wasn't so hard to believe. And so then exactly like I wrote in 2015, it blew up on them and it became QAnon. And QAnon is the conspiracy of all conspiracies. And rather than standing up and saying, this is dangerous, people are gonna get killed. and And people are already getting killed, in fact, there was a child that was killed yesterday. I want to get into that. Um, people are killing their children. Um, the but the um, um, was it because of the credit card bill? <laughs> no, no, no. no. <laughs> By the way, Kurt, you know here's something interesting that I'm not sure if you're aware of because you are the QAnon expert between the no, two. No, 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 no. There know, are people who do are you know? Than me. I don't think so. Do you know? Otherwise, they'd be on the show, not you. Now, do you know that there's like 50 active songs out there right now all about QAnon? You have like this one, Auto Rub. You have this one, Bear the Astronaut. I mean, there are, and you know, lyrics and music is certainly for this younger generation. It's the way that the message gets put out there. And my big concern is, look, you get a, a Josh Hawley. Now, he's not too old, but then you get, you know, a Ted Cruz or you get some of these elder ones. Even, I mean, Marjorie Taylor Greene's not that old either. But I'm, I'm really afraid that the younger generation, because of lyrics, because of the music, that, you know, it just reinforces it's, you know, it's the word It's coming from QAnon everywhere. And, yeah. It's coming. And actually, if you go, I mean, and it, it, this is not, you know, minor stuff. I mean, if you go, I don't know if you've heard the Ukraine biolabs thing. Uh, and this is where a lot of Republicans who are QAnon adjacent are supporting Putin because um, there was a guy online uh, identified by the Anti Defamation League as a, as a, uh, he, he's known by the name clandestine. He's a former restaurant manager. And he uh, put on put on Twitter, uh, I think it was Twitter, that um, uh, Ukraine and the United States had secret bio labs that they were using, they were preparing to attack somebody or other. And Russia was coming in to save us all to destroy the bio labs. And so that became the QAnon theory that led to all of this support among conservatives for Putin. Now that sounds crazy, but you know who picked it up? First Alex Jones, then Tucker Carlson. Oh, oh you know what, and, what a shocker! Alex Jones and Tucker Carlson. Yeah, Do you know you, that they also were promoting the theory that the United States and Ukraine, all right, were actually feeding 
to the Russian army, right, in, in water that, you know, they had sent there uh, and so on. They were laced with Viagra. In that way, it's why the Russian army is failing because it's hard to fight with an erection. I don't, yeah, I don't know if you heard Tucker. I don't know if you heard Tucker talking about this. I, uh, you know, it got, I mean, it got you, picked up by every it, triple X magazine. Yeah. If you think about it, you know, Tucker's Tucker and Alex <laughs> Jones's intelligence sources are your former restaurant manager. You know, you know the and, problem is, wait, yeah, I mean, it's very hard to fight with an erection. You can't stand behind <laughs> the guy with you with the rifle. Right. I mean, there's a lot of problems here. And, you know, um, this is this is what they talk about. These guys are, you know. I want to go back. By the way, you do you do know I'm fucking you do I'm fucking. Yes, right? I know. Okay. I just wanted to make sure, right? But I mean, that's just how stupid. You know I'm trying it's to I'm trying to, to use it as anymore. a metaphor on how stupid yeah. that these folks are. But you know, Kurt, let me just move on for one quick second because well, wait, I'm let me, curious. Let me let me because there's something I dropped that I don't want to leave behind: people killing their own children. Um, and what that is about is you know this is pushing people into people who are already some level of mentally ill are being pushed further and further and further. And they believe that their children are at risk of being snatched by Democrats and taken to the tunnels and sexually abused and skinned and have their blood dry. I mean, horrible stuff. And so to save them, they kill them. And that's happened in uh, California. I think there was one in Minnesota and there was one, um, yesterday, it was it was funny because it was people didn't quite get what was going on. There was a Russian woman who tried Russian American woman who tried to kill both of her children. She only got one of them. And um, the news story said she was afraid the Russians would take her children and murder them. And I was like, that's too close to QAnon. Uh, and so I read what was actually said. And she was talking about people coming and the dark web would would kidnap her children and torture them. It's like, OK, it's QAnon. And so people, mentally ill people are already killing their children. How long do you think it'll be until they go out and, you know, bomb the DNC or wipe out a school or, you know, and so the Republicans are playing this this game where with mentally ill people with draw and making other people more and more deluded it, you know ivermectin came out of came out of these groups you know oh, and yeah. and it's just it's just insane you know the, the the person that you were referring to the california was a father that actually took his two kids to mexico claiming that they were going to go fishing and he killed them for exactly the reason that you stated you know yeah. he said that he was receiving gun. visions yeah with a spear gun that he was receiving visions and and signs revealing right that his wife uh possessed serpent dna right that's mm -hmm. another shit i don't even know what the hell that is and had passed it on to his children yeah and that by killing them that he was actually uh saving the world you know, from monsters. I mean, that's, I mean, this guy really clearly has some mental yeah. problems, but I want to move on for a second and ask you this, because I'm curious. I'm curious if you've encountered anybody who has gone down the QAnon rabbit hole as legitimately a true believer. Because I have one or two friends who were, you know, seemingly rational, normal people and have been completely swept up and brainwashed. Now, they're not brainwashed to the point that they are going to kill their children, believing that their children, uh, you know, possess serpent, you know, serpent blood. But I'm curious if you can describe to me in your work, um, you know, on the fringes of Internet culture, how something like this even happens. Well, you had a guy and he's been, uh, you know, there were two of them. And in all probability, one of them was a guy named Ron Watkins. He's been identified repeatedly and he said something on a uh, on a uh, in a film uh, about about uh, QAnon that made it pretty clear he was Q, and you know he posed as this um, uh, secret intelligence guy with the highest level of clearance in the which was Q clearance. Now, what's absurd is 
Q clearance is clearance within the energy department. And where it is the highest level, Ron Watkins loves cartoons. And where it is the highest level of clearance, Q clearance, is in a cartoon called Archer. And so this- Oh, I've watched Archer. Yeah, yeah, it's come from, it came from Archer. And so, but he posed as this fellow, as this high level guy and who knew all this, all these stuff. And he'd do Q drops and uh, people who do, um, 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 real life games. I mean, I forget what they're called all of a sudden, uh, but you, you, you are, you know, living out a game, have looked at what the Q drops are and they say, well, this, this was just a game. And where people start to, you know, try and figure out clues and pretend like they're, you know, living through something, but it was going on this, this right wing um, uh, uh, channel called 8chan. You know, like some secret agent is going to go on some, you know, platform where they're posting a bunch of pornography to reveal all these secrets. And that's where a lot of all this stuff came from. And the QAnon people became obsessed with, you know, finding the secret uh, uh, codes. Everything's a code. Donald Trump went like this once. It was a code. You know, I mean, he says anything, it's a code. You know, I, I don't re- know if you, there was some press conference he was going to have, which they By all the way, said. To those, oh, people, to those people that are just listening to this, and eventually it will be visually put out there on YouTube. But to those people, Kurt was just putting his hands together as sort of, uh, you know, the fingertips on fingertips. I will tell you that that code for Donald means that he is gas and that the Secret Service should remove him and take him to the bathroom immediately before he poops in his in his pampers. I just want to be clear. You know, I mean, these things are important for you to know, Kurt. If you look, if you look up a a, um, a uh, video of the people in Dallas, they have a leader whose whose name I forget, and he'll stand there going 49, 72, 18, 76. And they're like, oh, that's a code that means something or other. And they see codes in everything. And that was started by this game. Um, and, you know, it has, it has flown out of control. Uh, it is something that I don't know how to stop it at this point. You know, the only, the only thing, but, but with Republicans refusing to stand up and try and get their um, um, their voting blocks to be sane again, rather than playing into the pedophilia nuts stuff. I mean, again, you know, uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene. Oh, you voted for her. You're pro pedophilia. You know, I mean, it's just, it's just. So no, you no, you just you're just pro stupid. Yeah, I mean it's so dangerous. And you know what's funny? You know you you know what's funny, Kurt? If in fact a Q clearance would have existed in the White House, if it and I don't I don't believe it does. I don't believe that there's any (laughs) Q level. But if it did, the only one in the White House that would have had that clearance would have been Jared. Because Jared had clearance for whatever the fuck he wanted. And the fucking kid is about as stupid as they come, let alone self-motivated. So unless Q meant Qatar, and unless the Q meant Qatar giving him $3 billion for his hedge fund, I don't believe that that Q clearance even exists. No, I mean, it exists in the energy department. It's not that high a level, which is, you know, all about nukes. It's not about being in the white. Oh, also Trump was working with Robert Mueller to, I mean, all of this stuff. <laughs> the, um, the um, <laughs> people, Trump is periodically supposed to become, it, 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 there's, this one's really hard. Trump is supposed to become president again, but he already is president. And um, you actually, there's a video of somebody saying Trump is president uh, and Biden is responsible for inflation. And the guy says, well, wait, if Trump is, so Trump is president, 
but Biden is president? And the guy's like, yes. I, I think that's <laughs> David Pakman, uh, who was actually doing a video like that. I saw I saw something like that, too, it was with a, a husband and a wife. And he just started fumbling around, you know, yeah, I mean, could not none, of figure it, out. none of it makes any sense. And, how, and can, the how can it make sense? You can't, you know, you, you, it's you can't make sense out of stupidity. Now, it's funny in the olden days, like my grandmother used to always say to me. And then, of course, my mother would follow, you know, her mom and repeat the same adage. That's, of course, how adages become right? Folklore, right? Where she would say, you can't argue with stupid, so don't try. And unfortunately, most of our day is spent fighting with stupid. You sit there and you listen to the stupidity. I don't care whether it's um, the Tucker Carlson's of the world. I don't care whether it's the Alex Jones of the world. I don't care if it was the guy Rhodes who, you know, uh, was the uh, Oath Keeper, you know, who was out there at first. Now, of course, he's singing a different tune, whether you have Josh Hawley, Marjorie Taylor Greene, Lauren Boebert, Ted Cruz, Matt Gates. I, you know, uh, what, what's his name? The other idiot. Uh, not uh, you got Tom Cotton. Then you got the, the <laughs> dentist. What, what's that? What's the dentist? That fucking nut job? Oh, uh, uh, with, uh, a, with a P. With, with a P. Uh, anyway, Paul. Um, Paul uh, yeah, Paul. Go, Paul Gosar. Yeah, Paul Gosar. Right. I don't care what they say. It's like when I see them on television, I think of it more as like going to the comedy cafe and enjoying a good guffaw. Right. Oh, a good belly laugh funny. here because, because it's but that's the problem. It's not funny. And it's actually it's putting our democracy well. in this country in, you know, in real serious, um, real serious peril. Now, let me ask you this, Kurt, because you've spent a significant amount of time researching the anti-vax movement and its leadership structure and how it disseminates misinformation. How much does that world cross with QAnon and does the anti-vax movement act as a kind of a gateway drug for those who later fall down the QAnon rabbit hole? It's it's hard to tell first, which comes first. All of QAnon is anti-vax. Um, not all of the Q adjacent are, but a huge percentage of them are. And um, they, you know, they also, both sides also believe that you know, Fauci is the devil. Uh, they haven't started adopting QAnon stuff now. They started adopting it with the vaccines, with Fauci, with all of that. And that was feeding the QAnon elements. Um, I think, I think anti-vaxxing is a gateway to QAnon and QAnon is a gateway to anti-vaxxing. They are they are all mishmashed together. Yeah, I mean, look, it reminds me when when it's like you know I I relate a lot of things to movies, right? So you remember like um uh, the Water Boy, right? When mm -hmm. you know the mother turns around and says, you know, Vicky Valancourt, she's the devil. You know, she, she you stay away from that Jezebel. I mean, it's it's funny and it. If it wasn't that it's so ridiculous, right, that you have no choice but to laugh. The problem here is, as you said before, you you can't laugh because, you know, there, of course, it's a it's a comedic movie here. Of course, it's real life. It's America. And when you have people, you know, like that father of two that believes this bullshit, believes it enough to do what God tested Abraham right, to do, which was to kill his, sacrifice his, his son, right? It's not, it's not normal behavior, right, for, you know, for a father to act that way. His head had to have been screwed on so far backwards that, you know, this, this is no joke. And the more people that become uh, these QAnon followers, the more crazy shit we're just going to read about and the more, you know, nonsense that we're going to, you know, have to deal with. And I'm just curious whether or not, I'd be curious whether or not that guy, and I'm sure that he was, I'm sure he's an anti-vaxxer. You know, uh, there's no doubt in, there's no doubt oh, in my I mind. Don't, if, I don't know if about you, him if, specifically. Yeah, I, but I'm I, saying I, if, I wouldn't doubt it. Um, I mean, there are people in the QAnon, in the QAnon, in the QAnon, many 
people in QAnon who uh, have uh, uh, cut off connections with their children, have thrown their minor children out of out of yeah. the house, who snuck off and got were ma- able to manage to get a vaccine. You know, who uh, uh, there was one fellow, uh, no woman, who got the vaccine and came back to her once very loving father. And the words he said is, with this smile on his face, I can't wait until the day I watch you die. You know, (laughs) know, uh, I mean, what, what, what does, what, what, how do people get there? And what, what, it all circles back to one thing. The Republican Party doesn't give a damn about governing. They don't care about governing the United States. They don't care about what they do to the population of the United States in order to win elections. For what reason? I don't know. Yes, I agree with you. And that's why it's incumbent upon Democrats to actually fucking do something. You can't look. Democrats should have been all over this topic. Right. In 2016, when, you know, that whole bullshit about Pizzagate, you know, came out, which is exactly the same thing as QAnon. Right. Remember 2016? It was was like the seed of QAnon. It grew out. Okay, it's the seed of QAnon. Right. That guy, uh, Edgar Welch. Right. Made all those allegations when he opened up and fired that um, his rifle into that uh, pizzeria. Right. Claiming, you know, that the Democrat uh, Democratic politicians, um, you know, were using. I feel it was some weird name like um, Comet Ping, you ping know. Pong. Yeah, pizza. I think it was like a Comet Ping Pong restaurant was the right. hub. I mean, could you imagine Comet Ping Pong? Right, was the hub of a satanic child wait. sex abuse. You know, Get, wait, 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 it gets ring. Better. It gets better now. It's Walmart. Now it's there oh. are secret tunnels connecting all the Walmarts in America, and that's oh. where they take the children to you know into those secret tunnels. And there have been people who have walked around in Walmarts looking yeah. for the the doorways to the secret tunnels. I mean, but but again, you go down to um, you know the FBI have or, has already told Congress that. Um, that QAnon poses a terrorist threat to the United States. And it does. I mean, you can't, you can't read as much of what they say to each other as I have and not know what they're gonna, that they're gonna do. On December 10th of 2000, I wrote something um, that said, there is, <laughs> there is gonna be something coming. There is going to be an attack and when it happens, you know, it's going to be, and I was naming names, it's going to be Jenna Ellis's fault. It's going to be because they are Rudy Giuliani's fault because they are feeding delusions to these people and they are going to storm, you know, the Capitol or they are going to do something terrible. And there it was when the FBI said, oh, we had no idea. It's like, start reading their damn websites because they talk about what they're going to do. And yeah. what they talk about what they're going to do now is really frightening because it doesn't, you can have a million of them talking about murdering Democrats and they, and they glory, oh God, they're the most bloodthirsty bunch of people you'd ever encounter. All you need is one to actually go off and try and do it. And, um, you know, you, 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 but you've got these Republicans who I, I can't wrap my head around why they've been playing this conspiracy theory game for 11 years. And, you know, it, it started with a black man in office. That seemed to be the thing that set it off. Well, for um, them, they also managed to fundraise off of it. And so, you know, they'll say the stupidest, wackiest, far out, nonsensical bullshit so long as it brings, you know, more money to their coffers so that they can remain in power. It's really I mean, it's truly despicable, almost as despicable as listening to Trump talk about how he wanted to go to the Capitol. I was going. 
Quite frankly, I was meeting you there. And Secret Service said I can't go. All of a sudden, Donald's listening to Secret Service, right? Yeah. And then you had probably Don Jr. in the back sitting there screaming, Dad, my dad would go. He's the toughest man in the world, right? And then, of course, you know, you had Yoda sitting behind him going, hmm, go, you shall, hmm, bullshit. <laughs> right? And then, you know, you sit there and, and it's like, you can make this into a Saturday Night Live skit funnier than anything else that's out there because he's fucking lying. The guy lies oh, yeah. with impunity. There's nothing about it. But, you know, the, the problem is when you're lying to crazy people, those crazy people do crazy things. And Trump is very fast to throw his think, hands up. They and, think, he says, and he says, he goes, Kurt, Kurt, I had nothing to do with it. I had nothing. Write it in your paper. Go write it in the newspaper. I, Donald Trump had nothing to do with this. I, I told him not to do it. Yeah, like, Why don't you show word, me where you said? They think every yes. word he says is the truth. Sure not. Yeah. Thinks, I mean, not like, oh, he stretches the truth sometimes. No, every word is true. And it's gospel, you know, even though it's gospel. And, you know, it's it's um, uh, I mean, again, I think I told you, I, you know, I covered Trump in the 80s and 90s. And the very first thing he said to me was a lie. Uh, <laughs> the very first words out of his mouth were a lie. And I've never dealt with anybody who lied as much as he did. And it was sort of it was amusing. He was, you know, the carnival bark. And the idea that he became president is is just just unbelievable. Um, no, that's what so, his sister. That's what his sister used to say to me, Michael. You you get him to stop this. My brother cannot be president. He's an idiot, right? And I was like, listen, um, he was you know, the judge, dumbest businessman you know, I ever encountered. Yeah, I said, Judge, Judge, you're going to need to say that yourself. I'm not really sure that I can go back and you know and repeat your words, but. Moving, moving forward, and this is, I have a, a real quote here for you that I want to discuss. Earlier this week, um, Donald Moynihan, writing in the Washington Post, said the following, and I'm quoting it. The damage of the QAnon conspiracy claims will spread in the body politic until conservatives find the courage to push back. It can't happen too soon. Three dozen candidates running for Congress, including two incumbents, Marjorie Taylor Greene and Representative Lauren Boebert, have espoused QAnon beliefs. Ron Watkins, who has long been suspected of playing a major role in writing QAnon posts that appeared on 8chan, the online message board network he administered, is also now running for Congress in Arizona. Watkins has been labeled, you know, actually, Watkins has labeled Jackson and any senator who votes for her a pedophile enabler. Mm -hmm. Is this truly the future of Republican politics? The answer really may depend on whether enough conservatives will finally demand, have you no sense of decency, you know, to, you know, to these heirs of Senator Joseph McCarthy. Is the presence of QAnon just a toxic byproduct of internet culture that will exist no matter what we do and thus possesses uh, influence as long as it can be harnessed for votes and for money? Um, yes. I mean, and I don't, I don't think, you know, once, once there is, I mean, there's already been an event, the January 6th event was a QAnon, you know, the January 6th, uh, 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 insurrection, uh, the yeah. insurrection was a QAnon event. You know, you just, you just have to have to look at it. You have to read their sites. You have to, you know, there was so, it wasn't a hundred percent. There were a lot of QAnon adjacent people there, but, uh, it was very much a QAnon event. The violence is going to grow and grow and grow. And just like on Jan for January 6th, the Republicans are going to go, wasn't us, it was Antifa, it was Black Lives Matter, it was the boogeyman, it was, and, you know, they take responsibility for nothing. And they are going to keep playing this game. It's no longer playing footsie with conspiracy theorists. They are playing footsie. They are encouraging people who are mentally ill and will kill their own children and have killed their own children more than the guy in California. They um, are encouraging 
people who are being driven into mental illness. They are encouraging people who have fallen into a mass cult. Um, and, you know, the, and the end point of it is that um, um, you, that it's not there. No one is trying to stop it because it gets votes. There was a QAnon meeting here in Dallas at, you know, at a hotel. I forget which one. I think it was the, it was a Hilton. Um, and they had a bunch of members of Congress were here. You know, you had General Flynn was here. And then you had a bunch of people talking about Satan and, and, and child molestation and pedophiles and, and adenochrome and vaccines and, you know, the flat earthers are in there. I mean, and the Republicans just keep refusing to stand up and say there is a real world. Here is the real world. We're not going to encourage this anymore. Because if they do, they lose 16% of the vote. Six, whatever that 16% is, they're all Republicans. They're all conservative. They're far right uh, conservatives. And there are not a lot of, you know, there are not liberals in QAnon. And, you know, because it's Trump worship too. And so, um, you know, imagine, so how much is 16% of the total number of Republican voters? You know, but in the end, if the Republicans gave a damn about this country, they would sit down and say, this is an emergency and we need to figure out how to deal with this. Not, hey, let's start calling Democrats pedophiles. You know, hey, let's let's start. Well, if, if, if calling them pedophiles is going to fill the coffers, fuck it. Why not just do it? Because that's all that's all right now that these folks care about. They don't care about they don't care about the country. They don't care about any of that crap. You know, um, I mean, they, they just they just don't. They just care about remaining in power, filling their coffers and continuing this wild, nonsensical, you know, conspiracy, you know, that got that mother, the mother of three. What was her name? Like Liliana uh, Carrillo or something like that, you know, who killed her three kids um, she, postpartum psychosis, also a QAnon follower, decided she hated her kids and all that other. I think she too was, uh, if I'm not mistaken, was a QAnon uh, believer. But, you know, I brought up, Kurt, that whole issue of the Pizzagate shooter and so on. I want to ask you this, because as I watched the confirmation, it just kept running through my head. How dangerous are they as a group? Because I know from listening, that Judge Katanji Brown Jackson is the one who actually sentenced the Pizzagate shooter and has also been the target of the group, you know, since since uh, that sentencing uh, proceeding. But she was also threatened with violence after her Supreme Court, um, you know, uh, her um, Supreme Court hearings took, you know, uh, ended up taking place. What's the prospect for future violence from this group? And more importantly, are they organized into armed cells or is it all these just lone, you know, one man band nut jobs acting on behalf of a, you know, of a half, a half, you know, witted mind? It's both. Um, and, you know, in terms of the danger, uh, look at Fauci. He needs 24 hour security now. Um, you know, that's that's about a bunch of conspiracy theories. That's about a bunch of conspiracy theories that are pushed in congressional hearings um, and then are, are, are built even higher in these online discussions. Um, you have, um, um, you know, all Democrats, um, are if if things start going the way I think they're going to go, all Democrats in high office are going to need personal security, uh, and because and all targets of Republican rage are going to need personal security, because it's going to start being oh 
you don't want to lower taxes? Well, you're a pedophile. Oh, you don't want, you know, this company dumping, dumping in the river? Well, you're a, you're a pedophile. I mean, look at the phrases they're using about uh, supporting, supporting, uh, you know, opposing the don't say gay uh, rules. Oh, well, people who support gay rights are grooming. They're supporting groomers. Groomers are people who are luring children into molestation. They know what they're saying, you know, and, and guess what? If you know the actual numbers, far and away, the highest number of, of molesters are straight men, you know, gay men aren't. <laughs> so, but you have this, if you support gay rights, oh, you support grooming children. If you support, um, the, okay, if you support um, uh, uh, this nomination, well, you support, you support pedophilia. If, I mean, and it's, it's obscene, it's disgusting, and they know exactly what they're doing. Every time you hear the word grooming, do not assume there's anything other than that is a pitch to QAnon. And, you know, they're going to get, they already got people in, you know, uh, 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 people who provided abortions killed. And they raised their hands and said, not our fault. Right. You know, they're going to get a lot more people killed because they're yeah, not going to stop. No, they will not. Kurt, so obviously, you know, we're coming close to the end of the hour. And I have one last question, which is kind of a follow up to the scary shit that you just you just laid on all of us. You know, um, we know that it's not going to stop. But here's my question to you. Who are the main mouthpieces for QAnon? outside of the GOP, right? The average Joe that's living God knows where. And where do they broadcast this bullshit? I mean, how, do, how much does Fox News cater to that group? I mean, I think, that's a, I think that's a rhetorical question. Obviously, they're not watching Rachel Maddow. They're not watching CNN or MSNBC or ABC or CBS. I think they're solely focused. But who are these main mouthpieces? They're people you've never heard of. Um, I mean, uh, and they they appear on these on these video sites that often you've never heard of. Um, and you know, you know, people like uh, uh, like I was telling you about the former restaurant manager. He was a big Q commentator. Uh, you have uh, I'm trying to remember the name of the guy with the with the with the online TV show, I can't remember it, who's huge, you know, uh, I wish I could remember it. I've watched the show, it's, it's lunacy from start to finish. And, um, but you've got, you know, but he's got like 200,000 viewers. Um, and you, you have this, um, oh, you also can't rule out the people who are looking at this going, hey, crazy people who will part with their money. So you have people who will say nonsense to you on a daily basis for $12 a week subscriptions. And, you know, and they're frauds, but they recognize that these people are easily deceived. Um, and so, you know, but... It's all, there's a lot of it, again, coming within, among themselves uh, with, uh, through BitChute and Telegram. There's a website where they're really big, which I don't want to mention because I don't yes, want please to drive, do not. I don't want anybody to drive people, they drive people there. Um, the, um, there's a lot on TikTok. There, there is a lot on YouTube, which is, um, been doing a pretty good job at shutting down the sites, but then they get sort of uh, the channels have gotten sophisticated. And so it's hard for YouTube to just shut down the sites because they're speaking in, you know, code, not code, but, but they're saying things that aren't out and out. You get canceled and who's reporting them, who's seeing them. You know, when you've got dozens of them, 
um, you know, you who's watching dozens of QAnon sites. And so there are Twitter feeds. There are, I mean, it's all of Facebook groups. It is all over the internet and it's in the Congress of the United States. Well, and look, if, if, if everybody's claiming that QAnon can be considered a domestic terrorist group, it would be incumbent upon our FBI within which to monitor the same way that you monitor it. They should easily call you up and say, hey, Kurt, why don't you give us the name of the top 20 websites that you follow of QAnon, you know, conspiracy theorists and so on with greater than 20 people. And at least they don't have to go do the groundwork. Right. And instead, you know, they can they can start concentrating before it becomes a problem before that lone wolf or a whole group decide like what they did in Michigan when they decided that they were going to, you know, go after the governor, kidnapper and killer. Well, I, I, I hope they're doing that. The biggest the biggest problem with QAnon is their beliefs are so ridiculous and so absurd People stand back and go, ha, 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 that's, that's so stupid. But it's like, yeah, it is. And we are walking among, this is the single largest episode of brainwashing in the history of the world. It has got to be. And you have got a cult of a size that is, is astronomical. And people are dismissing it out of hand. Too many people are dismissing it out of hand because they don't understand the levels within it that exist. That yes, there is, you know, uh, grandma who's on the website 24 hours a day. There's also the guy who um, um, stocked up, I know about this guy, who stocked up on, on um, um, uh, a bunch of, a bunch of uh, uh, assault rifles, you know, ready for, for attacks. They are waiting for something called the 10 days, the storm, followed by the 10 days of darkness. And the storm will begin when Donald, when the whole internet system goes down and Donald Trump will come on the emergency broadcast system and will make announcements and all these Democrats will be taken and they'll be hung and they're getting tired of waiting. And my concern is that at some point, someone will begin to argue that we are responsible to bring the storm that yep. uh, we've, we've waited we've waited long enough yeah exactly and well, so Kurt, the, let the me, people yeah. are dangerous yeah crazy people, most certainly crazy are. people crazy people who think another group of people are are you know have, who have created a fantasy about killing children and bloodletting etc are dangerous. I mean, these were these were the same, you know, yes, they were used against Christians. And in the early 20th century, these same delusions were used against Jews, you know, and yeah, and we can't yeah. say, oh, it'll just go away, you know. Yeah. Because yeah, you're you're right. Well, Kurt, thanks for scaring the shit out of myself and all of my listeners. <laughs> uh, I want to turn around and say, you know, you're you're amazing, you know, uh, just Th thank you so much for joining us, you know, once again on Mea Culpa. And um, as this thing continues, uh, love to have you back again, because we do have to keep our eyes and our ears to the ground. Uh, we have to keep, you know, continue to monitor these lunatics really to save, forgetting about to save the democracy, to save lives. So yeah. I want to thank you for everything that you're doing. And, and, and the Republican Party, people who stand up and throw red meat to these people have yeah. called out every time absolutely and i thank you and you and i will continue to call them out so let me thank you again and i really hope to see you soon thanks a lot good to thanks, see you thanks